Hi there, and let's get to it. Let's take a look at using the shot match function. I'm going to open up a timeline that contains shots from the same film, but with slightly different looks. The film begins with this very neutral looking beigey tone, and later on, the shots, even though these are the original log materials, turn very greenish. Usually, even after you've neutralized your footage, either by correcting the colors by eye or by using auto color or even the color match tool, the shots might still not match from one to the next. There might be slight fluctuations. This is based on a wide variety of reasons and it's totally normal, even on the most professional of workflows. But it is ideal to get all the shots to look like each other before you proceed with the creative color grade process. Now, ideally, you want footage that has already been neutralized with maybe a minimum amount of grading applied. Avoid using curves or nodes at this stage, so just the wheels. And let's say I've got this shot and I'm just going to control my luminance. There we go. So this is going to be my starting point for matching everything. What I need to do is hold control on my keyboard and click all the clips that I want to match to this one shot. Now I do want to match all the clips in the timeline, but you don't want to select clips that look really different from each other. You're better off breaking the job down into batches. So go after a series of clips that already look a little bit like one another and then switch to the next batch. Once you've made this selection, right click on the clip that you want to use as the basis of the grade and select shot match to this clip. Now that took a few seconds, but if I was to go back, you could see that I've now have this bumped up level of contrast applied to my footage. Let's try the green ones. This is gonna be a little bit trickier because they look very different. So holding control, clicking on the clips, right clicking on the clip I want to use as the source and saying shot match to this clip. So again, that took a few seconds, and if I look at the clips now, they certainly look a lot less green than they used to. So I could just undo this for a second and show you the difference. Once again, because this is an automated feature, it's not going to work as well as a human being doing it, but it's very good for quick outputs or demonstrations for clients on the run. Now that this is done, I can go in and make further changes. I would definitely want to limit the amount of shadows I have because I think they're a bit too dramatic. Maybe get rid of some of that saturation, I think, as well would, would do well. But it's already a cleaner match than what I had before. So the shot match was brilliant as a starting point for my grade, and then I went in and manually tweaked the rest of it until I was happy with the final result. That's the generally recommended workflow for neutralization, shot matching, and later on grading. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time.